Hey everyone and welcome to another cool tutorial with Django. In this video I'm going to show you how to upload multiple images in a particular model. Believe me there is no proper tutorial on internet related with this topic. Actually some developers stated that uh, there are some packages that handles this functionality but I think this package is not useful and makes the code complicated. So it's much better to keep it simple just using default Django models. The question is why you need to upload multiple images. Well, assume that you have a carousel or some kind of gallery. Uh, at this point, you have to display all images that belongs to a particular model. Additionally, you can use it for file field as well, uh, assuming that you have more than one file for your model. Alright, then let's not waste time and start building our project, shall we? Great, let's, uh, let's start by creating a new project named my side and inside it create a new app named posts. Uh, we are going to build very simple and creepy blog side. Uh, as always, configure your settings.py, include posts into installed apps, uh, and just configure templates and media URL because we will need to display image in our site. I know this part is boring and probably you are saying now, okay, we got it, just show the main part because we have to complete our project before deadline maybe. Uh, be patient my friend, <laughs> I, I almost finished. Okay, okay. Uh, continue by creating simple post model with fields, title, description, and file field, or actually, it can if image field, image field, yeah. After that, create another model class named post image, which will our gallery model, and we are using foreign key to create a relationship with our post model, and image field again for our gallery image to store our gallery image. Uh, once you finish, don't forget to migrate your models and let's jump into views and quickly create our views there. You're probably familiar with creating views, so there is no any complicated stuff there, but the only thing is we, we are filtering our photos or images by using post field which, uh, which is our foreign key in post model, uh, I'm sorry, post image model, um, and I think yeah, that's it. So let's jump into admin and the cool stuff happens here. The default Django model administration comes with the concept of inlines. Uh, if you have one to many relationship like our gallery stuff, you can edit the parent and its children in the same page. Uh, but you are limited in a, in a way that you cannot have inlines under inlines and nested one to many relations. And that's why we are using stacked inline class to edit our image model in post model admin. So it's really handy to use in our case. <clears throat> Uh, well, I talked a lot and I have to drink water. Excuse me for a moment. I will be right in a second <sighs> Okay, that's it the final step in the back end is to co configure our URLs and then we can add some designs to our creepy blog uh, Yeah, I will use bootstrap to not waste time with CSS and HTML stuff um, Well, this part is pretty common to everyone I guess so I will leave you with background music to watch this boring part
Well, well. Since we are using carousel, we have to deal with indicators under the carousel. First, we will iterate photos, which is our gallery, and we defined it in our views there. After that, we are going to use built-in template tag, which is for loop .counter zero. Um, so basically, it's it will iterate number in our for loop starting from zero. Uh, if you use without zero, uh, it's starting from one. So one of the indicators must be highlighted. Basically, it shows which image is currently active in our carousel. And if our counter equals to zero, which means if the first image, uh, then add active class into div element. Uh, I hope I hope I uh, you understand this part. <laughs> All right, we're going to apply same same logic to carousel items. Uh, let's delete this second and third slide and these useless comment lines because we don't need them. And after after that, iterate photos, define image URL, and finally just copy paste if statement, and that's it. Again, if it is first image, then add active class to carousel. If you remove the act, uh, active class. Uh, from the carousel, it will not work, so it's really important key here. Let's test it now to see if it works. Create a new super user and then log in into admin. Um, okay. Yeah, that was what I expected. Alright devs, it seems I registered wrong class into admin decorator. It should post image, not post image admin. Let's test it again and see what happens. So there is no any posts yet, so let's add one. As you see, there are two admin panels uh, in one form. It's really good. It's really good practice to use stacked inline uh, in one too many relations like that. Uh, I'm going to add some dummy stuff here. Oh, it seems I forgot to configure media media root in URLs. All right, it displays the image, and let's click to see details or actually the carousel. Yes, there are four indicators. That means we have four images for this post, and by clicking these arrows, you can see all images are displaying properly. The last two images are same, by the way. Alright devs, I think that's all for now, and you can find this project in my GitHub, I will put the link in the description of this video. Um, that's it, see you soon devs, stay connected.